Not speaking for other countries, um, I do, am speaking for America um, and, and how the, the public health exper experts, definitely the data trackers, so namely like the CDCs. We need to have a conversation about these breakthrough cases, seriously. As of, I think it was, it was going into May, if I'm not mistaken, they were not keeping track of the what they deem as breakthrough cases. And for those of you that don't know what that means, those are the people that have basically been vaccinated um, and they still caught COVID. So obviously there's different things that you want to take into consideration with that, with that group or with that demographic. And that is death and hospitalizations, underlying issues as well in combination. But the CDC stopped doing that. And, and said and rather pivoted on that in um, in May. And there's an article from a month ago from Politico that documented this and I, that I wanted to go ahead and highlight. And the reason why I thought about uh, covering this was because much like uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. had brought up, uh, according to the CDC, you had uh, almost 4,000 hospitalizations and 750 deaths and fully vaccinated people against COVID with an FDA authorized uh, vaccine. That was as of June the 21st. Uh, so that was back in like, you know, June where you, you had like loose data, but it's also, they're not tracking it. So it's not as diff it's not as easy to find those breakthrough cases, though we're just uh, supposed to assume that it's rare. So let's read this political political uh, uh, article just real quick because it kind of puts some stuff into perspective. This is over a month ago and I never covered it on the channel. The Centers for Disease Control's limited tracking of COVID-19 cases and vaccinated people is hindering public health officials' attempts to stem nationwide surge of the highly transmissible de var Delta variant. So what that says is that there are other people that are, and again, this is going back to what I was talking about, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And like, um, how he was documenting what was going on with, with these, uh, with these different breakthroughs covering these public like doctors as well. Like we're blind here. We don't really know what's going on. And that kind of speaks to that. The agency said in May that it will stop routinely tracking so-called breakthrough infections that didn't lead to hospitalizations or death. Why in the fuck would they stop doing that? Several States then stopped tracking mild breakthrough cases. And at least two states told political the Politico they are having trouble reliably tracking infections and vaccinated people. Hmm. That's weird. So the data is inaccurate when it like with with at least. Breakthroughs. Now, some public health experts and lawmakers are pressuring the CDC to reverse his decision and collect comprehensive data on infections infections in vaccinated people from mild to severe. Such cases are very rare, but monitoring them can help reveal how likely a vaccinated person is to infect others and how well vaccines work over time uh, and against emerging COVID-19 variants. State and local uh, officials also need information on breakthrough cases to make better targeted or more targeted decisions about when masks are warranted and whether to limit the size of gatherings. Given what we know about Delta now and more than what we don't know about Delta, having a fuller picture of breakthrough cases, no matter what the level of symptom is important to be able to decide what rules and mitigation strategies you need to put in place in your community. And this is coming from Adrian Casalati, who is the chief of public and governmental uh, affairs at the National Association of County and Health and city health officials. CDC illustrated the importance of such tracking on Tuesday when director Rochelle Walensky said her agency was once again, recommending that vaccinated people wear masks indoors in some areas, citing new data. Then that was obviously coming. We covered that the Massachusetts outbreak. We did cover that. Um, although vaccinated people who catch 19 are less likely to be hospitalized or die. CDC now says they can play an unknown role in starting or continuing the outbreaks. At least 30 States are monitoring all breakthrough infections according to political survey of state officials. Another eight, including Ohio and South Carolina, said they're following the CDC's approach and only collecting data on severe cases. Two, 
Iowa and Missouri said they don't have good data at all on breakthrough cases. So putting this into perspective, guys, there are states that are keeping up with their breakthrough cases. There are others, whether they, they may be doing it a little more now, there at least was a window, an important window at minimum. You have to concede this, that they were not at least keeping up with the breakthroughs of the cases that they love to highlight so much if they were, let's say, um, like having mild symptoms as opposed to having, um, I don't know, uh, hospitalization. That's a serious thing. Y'all do understand that. That's a big deal. Because what it says is that we really don't know to what degree. Yes, they keep saying that it's rare. But we don't know to what degree. Definitely, if you're not keeping up with it and definitely if they have no no intention on getting like, I don't know, getting tested, which like I've said, the mass form of testing has been the biggest sham of this all, but it's telling a different story there. And that is that we really don't know how these breakthrough cases are supposedly impacting. They could be spreading the shit uh, just as much. I know we talk about viral loads and people that are infected. And that's what came out of that Massachusetts study by way of the CDC and saying they basically didn't see any difference between the viral load of people that were vaccinated versus not vaccinated. But because the data is inaccurate, we don't really know to what degree that is actually even happening. And that's what sucks. And this is why when you look at Israel, and you look at these other countries who are still having problems despite having a, a bulk of their, their populace vaccinated, it makes me think some fucking else is up. Like something else is up. Was it always that case? And because they weren't accurately tracking the data or they didn't want to concede it because, well, the jabs have to work, right? Are they just acting as symptom mitigators or are you a super spreader? <laughs> I don't know, but it would help to have accurate data. But I just think it's very convenient that of all things that they want to stop keeping up with, it's the breakthrough cases. Mm, interesting. You just watched a clip from my podcast, For Cannon's Sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com. 